It's pretty much everywhere. Grubbs Pharmacy Managing Pharmacist Damika Walker thinks of her eight hour shift in sets of five and ten minutes. Well, we test every five, we vaccinate every ten. Yeah, so it's pretty packed schedule. <laughs> Entire days lately spent prepping the arms of booster recipients and giving the jabs for many their second or third doses. President Biden and Dr. Fauci have urged a booster shot to protect us from concerns over the Omicron variant. But getting an appointment for the shot may depend on where you live. In Washington, D.C., pharmacies large and small are sometimes booked solid for two to three weeks. Nothing available at Walgreens in the D.C. area until just before Christmas. But when we change the zip code to Abilene, Texas, we could schedule a shot as soon as today. The rush for boosters overwhelming pharmacists in metro areas like New York, D.C. and San Francisco. So it's great because the supply is there for us to be able to administer the vaccinations. But now it's the issue of having the staff to be able to accommodate everybody in a timely fashion. In a statement to News Nation, Walgreens said, quote, over the last week, we have seen an elevated demand for vaccinations and testing. Our teams are working to ensure our customers are being cared for to support this demand. Experts saying they're seeing the booster demand peak because of the Omicron variant dominating news and people wanting to get boosted in time for holiday gatherings. Fun way to spend your day getting shots, right? <laughs> Paige Vargas didn't have an appointment for another two weeks, but got lucky when someone else canceled. I looked online earlier this week and there's a cancellation for today, so I snagged it. Others will have to wait a little longer. And we asked the White House if they were considering bringing back some of those mass vaccination sites for boosters like we saw in the spring with the original rollout of the vaccine. An administration official tells us that uh, already about a million people per day are getting boosted. That's more than ever. They do say they are working with states, pharmacies and FEMA to provide people with access to sites like that in their communities, especially on nights and weekends. Nicole? Yeah, that definitely will make a difference. All right, Evan, now some some scientists have suggested the White House restart a kind of Operation Warp Speed like before, but this time for a super vaccine that might be able to fight off all of the variants. Do we know anything about that? Nicole, there are reports out there that these scientists are asking the Biden administration to prioritize such a vaccine or research on a super vaccine that could handle all variants. But so far, this has never been successful with the flu. And right now, the White House is not responding to that directly. Nicole. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.